Look, the teacher is teaching how to make potions, chamomile, and a couple of drops of the secret ingredient. Hey, should be drawn on the board to make it more clear. Enid decided to have a snack when no one's watching. Mmm, I love gummies. And who's this? Okay. Hi, thing. Oh, the teacher's heard something. What? Someone's in trouble. Enid! Wednesday, you've been caught. The teacher is furious. She's about to take away all the snacks. No, not that, please. Oh, man. Oh, girls, I feel for you. Time for the drawing lesson. The task is to draw a skull. Enid, is everything clear? Hey, Wednesday, look what she has. Do you think that's regular paint? It's not. Don't worry. Ian will tell you everything now. Once she was eating jelly and doing homework. She was in such a good mood until she accidentally mixed up the tubes. She took paint instead of jelly and squeezed it right into her mouth. It was horrible, but it gave her a brilliant idea on how to sneak jelly into class. She just poured jelly into a paint tube of the same color. Now no one will guess that she has a snack with her. Ta-da! What do you think? And Wednesday has something too. What? Don't worry, Enid. As you know, Wednesday's palette consists only of black because she thinks it's the best color. But one day, things spilled a jar of cookies on the palette. And then it hit Wednesday. She put Oreos instead of paint to have a snack during the lesson. What do you think of that? Oh, the teacher heard a crunch. Freeze! Don't give yourselves away, girls. It's just paint. They're drawing. Nothing special. No treats. Just brushes and paint. Nothing forbidden for the girls. Okay. <sighs> Didn't figure it out. We're lucky. And now, math class. Hey, Wednesday. How about this calculator? Think it's nothing special? Take a closer look. It's gummies instead of buttons. Mmm, so cool. Enid ate her favorite marshmallows yesterday and did math homework with it. The task was very tough. And she started thinking and then accidentally dropped the calculator and all the buttons popped out. But Enid figured out what to replace them with. She glued marshmallows and added Skittles and gummies for variety. It turned out to be a fantastic calculator that you can take to class and enjoy snacks. Cool idea, huh? Hey, are you eating an eraser? What's that? <laughs> Enid fell for it, right? Wednesday has a great story, too. She loves eating marshmallows, especially when reading the diary. But someone ruined it with their confessions. She was furious and took an eraser to erase the mess. But it wouldn't erase. It turned out to be just a marshmallow. So Wednesday just stuck a couple of marshmallows instead of the eraser and brought it along. Enjoy your treat. <gasps> the teacher heard someone wishing bon appetit. Attention, danger. Okay. <sighs> she didn't figure it out. Wow, look, flying bats. Wednesday, this should interest you. But for Wednesday, it's already clear. Look, Enid, how about this bat-shaped eraser? I think it's very tasty. What do you say? <laughs> That's the dope. Wednesday simply glued a gummy bat using corn syrup. And Enid also brought something with her. Think it's glitter? No, it's a new life hack. Well done, Enid. It's hard to bring sweets to biology class, so Enid just took a pen and filled it with fizzy candies. Now she can enjoy them anytime without the teacher noticing. I mean, that's so cool. What? Teacher is suspicious again. She'll definitely expose you now. Nothing forbidden. Just a desk, notebooks, pens. All clear. Now it's music class. Hey, Enid, don't sleep. Wake up. Come on. Think. Wake her up. Stop doozing. What's wrong with you? Try pinching her nose. <laughs> Enid, 
It's time to have a little coffee. Good thing you have it with you. Hmm, that's great. Enid came up with this brilliant idea yesterday, putting coffee in a pencil holder. Just don't forget the straw. See how awesome it is, Wednesday. Bravo. And Wednesday also has a little secret. She inserted a straw directly into the cola bottle. Amazing. That's a cool idea. Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're with you. We're singing along. La, 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 la. Everything's fine, Miss Teacher. <laughs> Time for geography. Let's see what Enid has on her map. We need to make a couple of measurements. And to make work more fun, let's eat a few chips. Wait, wait. Hmm. This is just brilliant. You can put chips directly into the map tube and carry it to class. <laughs> oh, awesome. Wednesday, look what Enid came up with. Oh, what's that, a crunch? No, nah, you just imagined it. Keep going. Wednesday, what tasty treats do you have? Gummy eyes. Cool. I love them too. Chips, I just adore them. Well done, girls. That's quite inventive. Hey, the teacher heard a crunch. Everything's fine. Everyone's working. No one's eating anything. Now it's time for our favorite geometry class. Hey, Enid. Hey, look what? what Wednesday has. Stretchy gummy candies. And do you know how she came up okay. with bringing them? Yahoo! Yesterday, Wednesday was decorating her new phone case and decided to cover it with gummy candies. Cool, right? What do you think of such a shoe design? Enid's sneakers are now made of candy, too. Not bad. As you know, Enid loves everything rainbow color. So she quickly realized that these candies would perfectly match her new sneakers. Just need to stick them on. No one will even notice. That's hilarious. Enjoy your treats, girls. Oops. What? The teacher got suspicious again. All right, girls, you're caught. Surrender the candies into the box. No more sweets in class. I sympathize with you, girls. I think it's time to announce a cooking challenge. The baby's finishing her drawing. Pancakes. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Hey, Grandma, are you okay? Feeling good? Well, let's begin. What? Grandma already has the dough ready. How did she know we'd be making pancakes? Maybe she's a psychic and can foresee the future? We'll have to find out. Mmm, smells delicious. I wouldn't mind having grandma's pancakes too. It's the most delicious thing in the world. And how about adding something sweet? Oh, maple syrup. Did she read my mind? It seems she's definitely a wizard. Well, Enid, what will you surprise us with? Oh, you decided to make rainbow pancakes. Enid apparently has dough of all the colors of the rainbow. What happened? The blue dough doesn't want to part for some reason. Press harder, press harder. Oh, this is not my fault. I mean, press harder, but not that hard. Oh, it's okay, wipe it off and carry on. So, Enid's first pancake is ready. Perfect. Why do you need black dough? There's no black color in the rainbow. Oh, it's a unicorn! Indeed, there cannot be a rainbow without a unicorn. Even Grandma likes it. Wednesday's up to something special. Let's see what she's come up with. Look, she's got help from Thing. Can you cook with assistance? Is that by the rules? Well, let's not nitpick. Black food coloring. This is amazing. Just a few drops and all the dough is black. Why the syringe? Oh, I beat myself out of fear. Oh so Wednesday is making a frightening spider web. I pretend that I'm not scared. And what is this? Oh, these are spiders. And now some syrup. Wednesday decorates the plate with fresh blood. I mean, strawberry syrup. Look at this beauty. And she even sprinkled it with powdered sugar. Oh, yeah, I agree, Grandma. This is truly a horrifying masterpiece. All participants are ready. Little one, time to taste. Where will you start? With the rainbow or... Don't worry, these are not real spiders. These are pancakes. Wednesday decided to scare you again. Taste it. These spiders are cute and not scary at all when they're eatable. Is that a 
toy. Try it. How is it? Delicious? And this is eatable sweet snow. Let's continue. Next up, a mountain of pancakes with maple syrup by Grandma. Hurry, try it. I envy you so much. It must be very tasty and sweet. Save me a couple of pancakes, please. Yes. Oh, please. Look, baby. It's a unicorn and rainbow pancake. What are you doing? It needs to be eaten, not played with. I think the baby really enjoyed it. So it's time to announce the winner. The little one will tell us who won this challenge. Unicorn Pancake! In it, congratulations. As for the others, I suggest not getting upset. Look, the baby wanted some french fries. Honestly, I wouldn't say no to them either. Can you make them? Hey, don't argue. There are enough potato peelers for everyone. Look, what's happening? Where are the peels flying from? Enid, sweetheart, can you be more careful? Grandma is covered from the head to toe with potato peels. Plus, there's another problem. Who's going to clean up all of this later? Oh, of course, the one who made the mess cleans it up. That's how we do it. Teamwork, a new kind of sport. Hand drill potato removal. Grandma wins. What's this gadget? Oh, it's a special knife for cutting potatoes. Look how beautiful it turns out. Emerald green? Oh, it's just food coloring. Ina decided to make green fries. What imagination. And not just green, but all the colors of the rainbow. Rainbow fries. Ina, you're a genius. I think you could become a chef, honestly. A pristine white chef's hat would suit you. Although your chef's hat could be rainbow, too. So, Enid's fries are ready. You're brilliant. It turned out great. Yes. And Grandma is already frying her fries. Hers turned out regular, not colorful, but surely very tasty. And crunchy, too. Grandma, stop. It's for the baby. And such beautifully crispy fries definitely need ketchup. Bravo, Grandma. What a delicious treat. How's Wednesday doing? Is it ready? Can we transfer it? It looks a bit burnt to me. What's this? Black paint? What are you doing? Wednesday, spare Grandma's nerves. Oh, I see. Wednesday wanted to paint the fries black, not herself. Yeah, it turned out to be real fries from the fiery hell. Why do you need a knife? Well, Wednesday will be cleaning up today, too. This is Klaus. I forgot that Wednesday can't have everything like ordinary people. Little one, try it. Oh, Wednesday decided to scare you again. But you're already aware this spider is made of fries. <gasps> Look. Baby liked it. She cannot stop now. Apparently, it was a very tasty spider. Let's evaluate the next dish. At first glance, it's just regular fries with ketchup. But it's from Grandma, so it's surely very tasty. Hmm. Leave me a little to try, please. She didn't leave any aid at all. Congratulations, Grandma. You're amazing as always. Yeah, colorful fries immediately attract attention. No wonder, it's Enid's rainbow french fries. Personally, I've only seen something like this in dreams. How is it? Delicious? Ha, ah, the baby's teeth are stained. And besides, she's already full. Just tell us who won. Rainbow potatoes. Enid, you won again. Congratulations. Well done. Attention, the little one is finishing drawing. What's this time? A burger. Great. Is everyone ready? Of course, everyone's ready for a new challenge. Grandma is sure she'll make the best burger in the little one's life. Mmm, toasted buns with sweet tomatoes sliced in rings, of course. And of course, the filling. It's crucial to make patties from good minced meat. Mmm, grandma's patties. Now it's time to assemble the burger. Bun, fresh lettuce, juicy patty, cheese on top, tomatoes, onion, and cover it all with another bun. Done. In my opinion, it's the perfect burger. Eat it. How will you cook your burger? You're studying with buns too? No. No? 
wouldn't you throw them away? A donut? Will you use a donut instead of buns? Wow! And on top, strawberry sweet syrup? Enid likes a lot of sweets. Although I understand the little one loves everything sour and sweet. I wouldn't mind trying that too. Can I have a taste? Marshmallow? A burger with marshmallows? I've never encountered such a recipe before. Just sweets and tanginess. What, it's not all? More marshmallows with strawberry syrup? Yeah, Enid, I suggest calling your burger Sweet Burger. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. Meanwhile, Wednesday has black buns ready. Unusually cut cheese. Hmm, what an appetizing patty. Is there more cheese on top? What is she up to? Oh, is that blood? Oh, it's ketchup. And another bun on top. Are you hungry? Wanted some chips? Oh, it's for the burger. Wednesday turned a chip into a tongue for her monster burger. Thing comes to the help again. No need to be afraid of it. It won't eat you. It doesn't even have a mouth. But now it has eyes. What are they planning? Oh, turns out these are eyes for Wednesday's burger. In my opinion, she made an awfully cute burger. So, the preparations are done, and we're ready for the tasting. Little one doesn't even know where to start, and decided to begin with this terribly cute creature. Hmm, judging by the little one's reaction, it's very tasty. Yeah, Wednesday, congratulations. It's indeed a success. What's next? Grandma's burger. It looks just like you drew. I'm sure this burger is very delicious. Try it. What's this? Onion? Oh, and indeed, girls don't like onions. The little one rejected this burger because she doesn't eat onions. And Grandma probably forgot, as always. The last one remains the brightest and sweetest burger from Enid. Look, the little one cannot decide, so she'll choose with help of counting. And so, the victory goes to... Wednesday's delicious burger. They're even jelly eyes. Yeah, Wednesday, it's a well-deserved victory. Congratulations. Does this make you happy? Oh my, Wednesday, smile wider, show all your teeth. You have such a beautiful smile. Well, maybe not this time. <laughs> Little one wants some cocoa, will you make it? Okay. I think everyone agrees. <laughs> Who will start? All right. Grandma, the bravest of all. She mixes milk and cocoa in the pot. It should be super delicious. Wow, she's gonna add chocolate there. Mmm, chocolate drink. Yeah, cocoa like that can only be in a mug that says world's best grandma. Right, let everyone know who's number one. Bravo, grandma. I think the little one will love it. Enid also decided to use chocolate. But why chocolate? We don't eat it. It's needed for the task. Right, throw it in the pan. Want to add more sugar? Grandma, tell her that's too much. Right, just a little pinch. No, it's a sugar flood. Time for milk. Enid, I would help you open it, but I cannot. I'm the host. Oh, spilled it. But hopefully there's still some left for the cocoa. So, Enid, of course, can't leave it just white. She adds a bit of blue. Look, the color of the sky. How beautiful. Yellow cream. Indeed, it will be very useful. What artistry. I think it's very cool. Look, Ina decided to decorate it all with wipe cream. I'm sure the little one will love it. Marshmallows too? It seems Ina made a beautiful rainbow cocoa. Sweet and extra sweet. And beautiful as well. Wednesday and Thing don't like such colorful madness. Wednesday loves everything black. She starts with a black skull-shaped mug. Don't worry, Grandma, it's just a mug. Look, Wednesday pours dark cocoa into her favorite mug, adds blood from strawberry syrup, and of course, warms jelly ones. No need to be afraid, it should be very tasty. Time to try it. Little one, everything's ready. You can start tasting. Everything looks very appetizing. She starts with the brightest one. 
well? Is it good? And this is her favorite grandma. Say hi to grandma, little one. Cocoa from grandma is always delicious. And here's Wednesday again. Her favorite skulls and worms. Don't be afraid. Try it. These are jelly candies. Yeah, everything's very tasty, but you have to pick one. The Rainbow Coco wins! Congratulations, Enid! You've won again! So, what are we doing? Put an ice cream ball into the blender. Add your favorite Kit Kat chocolate! How delicious! Oh, look! The nanny's in Japanese mood today! Soy sauce! Hey, isn't that too much? Curious to see what comes out of this! Pour it into the machine! Scoop it into a cone and sprinkle it with tiny cookies. Beautiful. Such a cute and tasty looking ice cream. Well done, Nanny. Put the cone in the stand and let's move on. For the second cone, we need an ice cream ball. Right into the blender and... What? Spicy red peppers? Aw, oh, Nanny, you're quite the inventor. Let's add some sweetener, like honey. Please, don't forget to close the lid. Start the blender and done. Okay. Well, it's quite a smell. Though different strokes for different folks. Someone might like it. Oh my. Power it into the machine, scoop it into a cone, and add a bit of horror. Well, why not? Marmalade eyes go perfectly with yellow ice cream. Horribly spicy honey cone. Hmm, I'd give it a try. Yeah, beautiful ice cream. Jane, try it. Yes. It looks eatable. Yeah, those are your favorite marmalade eyes. Don't choke, spit it out. <laughs> Mary, you catch it perfectly. Well, Jane, try the ice cream now. How is it? What? Spicy. Seems like it's very, very, very spicy. Nah, I was wrong. It's very, 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 very spicy. Wouldn't want to be in your shoes. This is hyper pepper active ice cream. <gasps> now, Mary, it's your turn to try the ice cream. Oh, no. This looks strange, but don't let it scare you. You can eat it. Trust me. Well, what do you say? It's strange. There's so much soy sauce, but Mary likes it. Well, you've got an interesting taste, my friend. So, the Nettie has another recipe. She takes a vanilla ice cream ball and nuggets? Plus Oreos? Yeah, separately they all taste delicious, but what will happen when we mix them all? It's hard to resist eating it all, but it's all part of the plan. Wow, that's loud. Turn it off quickly. Pour it into the machine, scoop it into a cone, and sprinkle it with... What? Salty french fries? Well, that's quite an unusual recipe. What will the second ice cream be like? A chocolate ball? And to that, the nanny adds... Japanese chopsticks? Oh, sushi rolls! Mmm, what a tasty strawberry! Are we adding that too? More, that's what I'm talking about! Strawberry rolls. I wouldn't mind trying that. Let's pour it into the machine. Scoop it into a cone. And sprinkle it with... What will the nanny use this time? Chocolate crumbs. That's what I'm talking about. Girls, take a look at the masterpiece. Hmm. Looks unusual, but I hope it tastes great. Well, delicious? Come on, don't tease. Tell us if you like it or not. Hey. Mary, don't no. do that. You have your own cone. Give it a try. I'm sure yours will be just as good. Don't be surprised. It's french fries. So, how is it? Strange ice cream, but in my opinion, it's eatable. Looks like the girls enjoyed it. Nanny, what's in store this time? The vanilla ice cream ball and... Pickles? Seriously? Hey, what's your teeth, Nanny? Oh, wow, you're a real samurai. So many pickles and ice cream? Mm. Hey, don't eat it. It's for the challenge. Mix it all up. The color seems okay. Now, let's pour it into the machine. 
scoop it into a cone, and sprinkle it with stinky garlic! Wow, that garlic could scare off any vampire. Unforgettable smell. Okay, put it on the stand, and let's move on. I wonder what the nanny came up with this time. A vanilla ice cream ball, a direct hit, and sweet donuts. How lovely. Is one enough, nanny? Mix it all up. What a pleasant pink color. Let's pour it into the machine, scoop it into a cone, and decorate it with colorful sprinkles. What a beauty. <laughs> Girls, Could it's all ready. Mary, let's start with you. Give it a try. Well, it looks good. How's the taste? Seems very delicious. <laughs> Your lips are covered in sprinkles, but that's good. It's also very tasty. Jane, it's your turn. Yeah, it's garlic. Terrible, but you have to eat it. Tough luck. Swallow it. Come on, you have to eat it all. Those are the rules, Jane. Nothing you can do about it. One more bite. Uh, just a little left. Come on. Oh, Jane the garlic dragon exterminating everyone with the bread. I think you need to brush your teeth. <laughs> the nanny's armed with an ice cream scoop, ice cream ball, and stinky cheese. Gross. Yeah, that's unusual. Well, what do we have here? Ugh, it smells like a garbage can. Pour it into the machine. Scoop it into a cone and sprinkle it with... Tasty worms! Looks like they enjoy the ice cream. Wow, Skittles ice cream is in play. And what is this? Right, that's sour jam. Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. It's very sour. But in the ice cream, it will perfectly complement the sweetness. Mix it all up, fill the cone, and sprinkle it, of course, with Skittles. Cannot have too many of it. And it's done. Girls, you definitely haven't tried ice cream like this before. Mary, come on, give it a try. I wonder what the reaction will be. <laughs> Look at her tongue. Hey, leave me a piece, too. Ah, oh, you greedy. Jane, it's your turn. How is it? Like your ice cream fell into a dung heap. Ah, disgusting. But you have to eat it all. Endure it. Come on, endure it. Yeah, it's the last form. Those are the rules, Jane. You have to eat it all. Ah, that's disgusting. Oh, my. Now they'll live in your stomach. Drink something sweet. They'll like it for sure. Oh, my God. Nanny, prepare something tasty this time. Here's an ice cream ball in the blender. And with it... Oh, yes. Mustard? Seriously? I asked for something delicious. Ah, well. Mix it all up. And done. I wonder how it all smells. Huh. Refreshing, right? Pour it into the machine. Wait a minute. Where's the sprinkle? Yeah, that won't work. What? No, not this. Dog food instead of sprinkles. Please stop it. Yes. Ah, scoop it into a cone and sprinkle it with dog food. We could start barking probably. Okay, put it on the stand and let's move on. This time, Nanny makes something delicious with chocolate ice cream. Okay. What's so tasty? Oh, you can have more of that. All right, all Here, right, I agree right. with you. There's never enough chocolate. Don't hold back. Add more syrup. Come on, the entire can. That's beautiful. Start it. Mix it. Make from it. No, no, no don't drink it. Make a cone. Just don't sprinkle it with dog food, please. I beg you. Sprinkle it with something tasty. Yeah, M&M candies. I wouldn't refuse that. Okay. Who's starting, girls? Mary, you won. Come on, try it, Mary. It looks beautiful, but it's dog food. No, according to the rules, you have to eat it. Ugh, that's terrible. Don't glow, Jane. You just don't know what ice cream you get. What happened, Mary? You need some water? Oh, Jane, you shouldn't have laughed. Try your cone, come on. Okay. 
tell us how it tastes. <gasps> Looks amazing. Mmm, I think it's delicious. The best cone today. Mary, no need to envy. You'll get lucky next time for sure. And here's Nanny with another crazy idea. Stinky fish and broccoli. Ugh, ugh. I couldn't eat that for sure. She mixes it all up. Pours it into the machine, then scoops it into a cone and sprinkles it with chewing gum. Well, at least the sprinkle is sweet. I wonder what the second ice cream will be. A scoop of vanilla and... Okay. Seaweed? And that's it? That's not even interesting. You could have added some Molina to make it even more unpleasant. And chocolate candies goes on the top. At least something eatable. Girls, try it quickly before it melts. What? That looks cute. Who's going to start? Okay. Mary, come on. Yeah, it looks nice, but it stinks. I don't want to disappoint you, but you threw away the tastiest part. Well, what do you say? Why are you laughing, Jane? Mary, chew the gum to kill that awful taste. Hey, you're going to fly on that ball now. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not laughing at you. <laughs> Jane, it's your turn. I wonder what kind okay. of cone do you have? Try it, don't be afraid, come on. That looks great. Your favorite chocolate candies. Is it delicious? <laughs> I'm sure it is. Hey, what's this? Oh, no. You have seaweed stuck in your teeth. <laughs> and the last serving of ice cream. Scoop of delicious creamy vanilla. Into the blender it goes. Uh, what else? Onions! Ice cream with onions? Sounds terrible. Oh, at least something tasty. A jar of Nutella. That works. Let it blend. Ready? Nanny, turn it off. <laughs> Smells a bit sad. Pour it into the machine, scoop it into a cone, and sprinkle it with gummy bears. Nice. Ah, oh, that's yummy. For the next ice cream, sorbet is being used. That is frozen juice. And what will be the topic? Cola or ketchup? Please let it be cola. Yeah, cola. Look how delicious it goes. Don't hold back. Pour the whole can, Nanny. Come on. Okay. What? No, not that. A ketchup too? Well, at least it's a bit. Mix it up and ready. Ice cream as black as oil. I think the smell is the same. What will we sprinkle all this with? Hooray, marshmallows! Well, there's more? Chicken fingers? I hope it will be tasty. Girls, don't argue. Both are delicious, I promise. Jane, you got very pretty ice cream. Don't mind the smell, honestly. It's just onions. Yeah, the gummy bears are very tasty. But the ice cream itself? Blah. Are you crying from offense or from onions? I hope it's the onions. Who adds onions to ice cream? Oh, it seems the ice cream is saying hi to you, Mary. Come on, it's your turn. I hope yours will be tastier. What? Don't be scared. These are not real fingers. They're made of chicken. <laughs> Try it. Nah, I wouldn't. But it's a challenge, and you have to finish it all. That's right, Jane. Help her. True female friendship. 